नमस्कार वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यूवर्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर यू आर वॉचिंग अर्स लाइव ऑन ई विद्या चैनल चैनल नंबर फोर आई एम रेणु भट्ट विद यू ऑल एंड एज यू कैन सी आई एम अकम्पनीड बाय आर साइन लैंग्वेज इंटरप्रेटर लेट्स मीट हिम यू आर मिस्टर अनिकेत पांडा वेरी वॉम वेलकम अनिकेत and as you all know this is our very special session of teaching learning interventions for inclusive classroom where we try to enhance our knowledge towards inclusive classroom setups so what is the topic of this session let me tell you that we have this session for fourth standard english students and the topic that we are going to discuss today in this specific session is books and going to buy books and we all love books don't we our elder says books are our best friends so where we can meet our best friends our expert is here to let us know about all that let's meet her you are miss divya gupta you are mentor teacher from directorate of education delhi very warm welcome ma'am thank you thank you and before we begin this particular session let me share some uh, certain information to all our viewers in case they have any query or they want to share their experience they can reach out to us through our various mediums they can call us on our telephone number that is 8800440559 and either you can drop a mail also on our email address that is dts.class4@ciet.nic.in so we are expecting your participation because this is our live interactive phone in session just for you uh, all the students out there and without any further delay uh, let me share a very important piece of information with you all regarding india's g20 presidency We are indeed very proud that India assumed G20 presidency and will convene the G20 Leaders Summit for the first time in the country in 2023. A nation that deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all. And in doing so, manifest the true spirit of Pasudha Kutumbakam. or we can say the whole world is one family with that very important piece of information let's quickly get back to the session in which we are going to learn and know more about books and going to buy books so ma'am what this lesson is all about all right so uh, as you said this hmm. you uh, briefed that this lesson is about uh, what the, you know there are two poems in this hmm. lesson uh, and one is about uh, experiencing books in a library hmm. and the other is about two children who okay. go to buy books but before we go to the lessons uh, the hmm. poems formally hmm. uh, why don't you share uh, one of your fond memories of going to let's say buy books or you know any fond memories of, of your books childhood and library yes. anything yes mom as i was not a student uh, student of literature but still i love to read Uh, whether it's in hindi or uh, english i read a lot of uh, munshi munshi premchand krishna sobati and uh, a lot of uh, writers are there but i love uh, krishna sobati's book dilo danish oh how and nice it's a wonderful book and i also love a book uh, by kishwar desai that is uh, the origin of love yes. and my favorite favorite uh, story is kabali wala oh yes it's a <laughs> from my childhood beautiful memories. story it is indeed Yes. So with that lovely note we will start. Uh so here I have a little presentation. Uh, you can see it on the screen. So the first poem that we have today is called Books. I am going to read it out for all our children here. And when teachers uh, you know teach this poem in their classes they should ask children to also read it along with them. The purpose of poetry is not to understand but to enjoy it right and you know singing the poem that you're reading that you're learning about i think is a good idea uh, so this poem is called books come in come in said the library door i opened it wide and saw books galore tall skinny books up high on the shelves little fat books that stood by themselves I opened one up and sat down to look. The pictures told stories. What a wonderful book. So as you just saw, this is a very simple poem about uh, how the library door is an inviting children to come in and read books and when they go in they see that there are different kinds of books hmm. in the library. There are tall books, thin books, fat books, small books. and uh, you know then they uh, discover the library explore it 
Now, uh, I will suggest to teachers when they, when they teach uh, this poem, you know, they uh, while they do it or before they do it, they should take children to a library, that might be a very good idea. Hmm. Take them to a library, allow them to explore the library, let them see what a library shelf looks like, let them pick whatever book they like, hmm. you know, uh, in, in, instead of telling them how to choose books, you know, hmm. let them uh, pick books for themselves and uh, that that would be I think a very wholesome experience when you, when you are teaching a poem like this. That is definitely a good experience that will be and uh, here I just wanted to know how you can make uh, reading more interesting. This is a very good Maybe question. Maybe every student is not very fond of reading, right? Yes. That in that case? I think this is a very valid question that needs to be asked a lot. Uh, a very simple answer to this is that most children who do not read uh, don't do it because they are not introduced to correct, uh, you know, age appropriate, uh, interesting, intriguing books. Uh, so I have with me a few books here today which I would like to share with you. Uh, these are books that can be used for children, uh, you know, en who are anywhere on the continuum of learning. Hmm. So, you know, they could be children with limited vision or, you know, with delayed milestones and, you know, all of, we can use these in an inclusive classroom. So, I have some books with me which I would like to now share. Sure, ma'am. So, uh, this is the first book that I want you to take a look at. बहुत साधारण सिंपल सी किताब है ये बच्चों को ये हमेशा पता होना चाहिए कि किताबें हमें डराने के लिए नहीं होती हैं बहुत सिंपल चीजें होती हैं सिर्फ एक चार्ट पी चार्ट पेपर को लेके वो खुद भी इस तरह की किताबें ना सिर्फ पढ़ सकते हैं बल्कि खुद बना भी सकते हैं देखिए व्हेन यू ओपन इट लाइक दिस इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल फोल्ड अप सॉर्ट ऑफ अ बुक चिल्ड्रन कैन मेक इट देमसेल्व्स सो यू नो टीचर्स शुड आई थिंक एनकरेज चिल्ड्रन टू मेक बुक्स लाइक दिस in their classes that would hmm. be a very good idea then another book that i would like you to see here is this touch and feel book now this is very good for children it's good for all children but you know particularly uh, involving uh, for those children who are not uh, who have limited vision you could say hmm. so this you know this book has uh, various textures that the child can touch and enjoy the story so you know there is this uh, animal that's called gruffalo here hmm. and he has terrible tusks on every page it is told ki iska kya cheez aapko yahan pe dekhna hai we can touch and feel and you can touch and feel so tusks here have a texture and then on the next page he has knobbly knees so you know this has knobbly knees so you know touch and feel books are a great way of engaging children hmm. and so this is one One more kind of books, this uh, that I am now going to show you, I think is particularly impressive uh, because this is a wordless book. Now, there will be children who are not very comfortable with uh, expressing in words, uh, right. you know, how they feel at all times or at some times. I think it happens to the best of us. This is a book for every child, I think, you know, this has no words. So, what happens is when you show a child a book like this, they each can have, they are free to have their own interpretation. Hmm. When teachers engage children with books like these, they feel free. When we give them a regimented book, which means one thing, the story of one thing, they can feel a little bound. But when they see such a book, they can get a different meaning of every picture. It's like free word. It's, it's a wordless book and they can create their own meanings. Right. You know? So that's a freedom. So, I think that the students will have the same stories with the same stories. Absolutely. Isn't that beautiful? Right. And there is this last book that I would like to show you today. So, this is a regular pop-up book. So, this is a pop-up book. So, when you open this book here, it opens like this into a castle or a house. You know, hmm. and many of our learners may not have seen books like this before, but now increasingly, you know, uh, libraries and government schools are becoming hmm. much, much better stocked. Hmm. So, we have books like these, teachers have access to books like these. So, they should, you know, uh, hmm. try and engage children in books which they have not seen before, the kind of books that they have not seen before, right. uh, to increase their interest in reading. So, 
I hope that sufficiently answers your question. Definitely, ma'am. But here, I just wanted to ask you one more question. Yes, please. Is that possible to inculcate the habit of reading? Of course, it is. I think, like I said, you know, once you give a child a hmm. good age-appropriate, interesting book, they will be hooked to the act of reading, and they will then, uh, you know, try and pick another book, one book after another, hmm. and that is how you develop the habit, you know. In the process, they will also sometimes find books that they don't completely like, you know, hmm. but that is a process that they will have to, you know, go through in order to grow. Hmm. So, yes. Right. So, um, so shall we move, uh, move for yes. forward? Yes, absolutely. So, uh, there are three keywords here. Uh, library means a building or a room that has books, it, it can have books and magazines and sometimes even film CDs and galore uh, which was a word in this poem, it means great numbers. So, library mein kitabe hoti hai, books galore right hmm. in great numbers and then skinny means very thin and teachers uh, who are watching this uh, can take a cue from here to share these words with our children uh, in braille also. So, the second poem that we are going to read today is called Going to Buy Books. This is also a very heartwarming poem. I am quickly going to read it for children. Hmm. One day, grandfather gave my brother and me some money. Go and buy books, he said. We both were very happy. We both loved to read. Should we go to the big market? Should we go to the small shop? <coughs> Should we go with somebody? Should we go alone? We decided to go to the small shop, just the two of us. We like the small bookshop. <coughs> okay. So, uh, dear learners and viewers, we are having a session on books and going to buy books and this session is for fourth standard English student and I am quite sure you are loving this session as our uh, expert is having a lot of TLMs for you and you must be enjoying this session. If you have any query, please feel free to connect to us through our telephone number that is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. We are also waiting for your email and you can send your email and feed feedback on our email address that is dth.class4 at the rate cit.nic.in. We would appreciate your efforts and we would like to know more about your feedback. So, let us uh, quickly get back to the expert again. Ma'am, please continue. So, the uh, little girl that is writing this poem says, uh, we like the small bookshop. It is small, but it mm. has many books. The man in the shop likes us. He always helps us. Should I buy a book with a lot of pictures? Should I buy a book with a lot of stories? Should I buy a thin book? I could not decide. We did not know which book to buy. The man in the shop smiled at us. Relax, come with me, he said. These books are about animals. Those are about machines. And those over there are about wars. Take what you want. I picked some books. My brother picked some books. I sat on the floor. He sat on the chair. And we read and we read and we read. It was very quiet. There was no sound. One hour passed. Two hours passed. Finally, we knew which books to buy. The man in the bookshop smiled at us. I got a fat book with many stories. My brother got a big book with many pictures. We ran home to our grandfather. We climbed on his bed. We put his arms around us and then we read and read and read. So, this is a very uh, hmm. simple uh, everyday occurrence that uh, a grandfather gives money to two of his grandchildren. It is a brother and a sister duo and they go to a bookshop 
and uh, it shows how a child buy books you know it tell, takes you to the world of a child and it shows you how they select books so they first think whether they should go alone or with someone whether they should go to the market or to big market or to a small shop finally they choose to go to a small shop aur wahan ja ke phir wo dekhte hain ki unko kaun si kitabe khareedni hai to wahan picture books bhi hain choti books hain badi books hain isme bahut achhi ek baat hai bataiye ki jo the man in the bookshop it's he is very patient and he keeps smiling at the children so uh, and he tells them you know uh, that they could look at books about wars they could look at books with pictures they could look at books with stories so he assists them in every way and they are able to read for 2 hours there undisturbed i think that's also a wonderful thing and then they finally buy the books that they like and come back to their grandfather and then they read with the grandfather in his bed so very uh, sweet little poem this is ma'am you must be having some activity or questions for our learners i would again suggest that when the teachers teach this poem hmm. uh they can first as a pre reading activity ask children about what their book shopping experiences have been okay which is also a part of my homework that i have assigned to learners later mm hmm they also should ask them can ask them i would say they can offer them a choice they can ask them to draw a list of the books that they have bought or to draw a list of the places where they can go to buy hmm. books or Uh, you know to draw a list of places where they can go to uh, you know get access to books hmm. maybe even if it's a if it's a library you know they don't buy books there but that's a place where they can get books right hmm. so that's an activity that teachers can do okay uh, ma'am how are uh, children with special needs students can enjoy books ma'am or reading uh i suppose one good thing that we can do that i just introduced is to use touch right. and feel books hmm. another thing is uh, see books are not so much about uh, you know being able to read when you see them right it hmm. it could also it's it's more about what the content in them is so storytelling i feel is a great idea hmm. to involve children uh, into uh, reading and writing that's something teachers can do every day if teachers could take out a little bit of time uh, f- out of their very busy schedules of course and you know maybe just tell a story it could be a story from their neighborhood a story from their everyday lives you know that would be uh, i think a good idea to get children to also share their stories and once this mutual exchange of stories begins you know a love for stories develops we sup- i i suppose it could you know it would develop into reading also it would go into that also so ma'am can you recommend or suggest some books for our learners ma'am absolutely uh, class for children uh, can uh, you know go for like i just showed you pop up books that i have showed you here touch and feel books that i have showed you here uh, there is uh, there are there is a very good organization called pratham hmm. and they have over 1000 stories online in many 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 languages indian hmm. languages and international languages and you can access their website so uh, you can and you can also buy pratham books online hmm. they are very good books for children this uh, fold over book that i've just shown you that's a pratham book hmm. so uh, and they're not even expensive they're very cost effective books so uh, they're written specifically for children belonging to class 1 to 5 okay that age bracket yes so those will be i suppose good books to read that's so, just one thing that comes to mind right anything else that you want to add we'll go to the home sure ma'am yeah okay dear learners as you can see we have keywords for this session as usual we have three keywords for this session our first keyword is market our second keyword is relax our third keyword is quiet so ma'am i would request you to share homework with all our viewers ma'am yeah uh, before that should we explain these keywords to our learners ma'am uh, please uh, all right so in uh, a very brief we would like to uh, all right i suppose uh, most children are familiar with the word market So market is a place which has many shops and where people go to buy things. 
uh, relax means to rest uh, and quiet means making little or no noise. Let us not confuse it with quiet which means very, you know, quite it is quite thick hmm. but that's, that means very thick but this is quiet which means silent without any noise and the words have been given in braille also for our teachers to use. Now here is the homework, very simple basic two questions, hmm. where did the children go to buy books and did the girl buy a picture book? Hmm. Answer one of these questions ma'am, where did the children go to buy books? Bookshops? They went to a small bookshop, hmm. so they had a choice of going to a big shop or a small shop and they chose a small shop and did the girl buy a picture book? Ma'am I would rather uh, not say about the answer because <laughs> this is homework for our learners. <laughs> All right. So uh, here is uh, modified homework. Hmm. So where did the children go to buy books? You write this children and then you say where do you get books from when you want to read? Name any three places. So uh, that is one and the second question is did the girl buy a picture book? Find out first whether she bought a picture book or not and then Name your favorite picture book or any other type of book and its author and illustrator. Hmm. And who is an illustrator children? An illustrator is the person who draws the pictures in a story book to uh, kind of support the story. Hmm. So this right and as you can see dear learners this is our homework submission format. You have to write your name first, then your school name and address, then name of the expert and then date of the session and then your photograph that is completely optional and you have to send this uh, homework at our email address that is dts.class4 at the rate cit.nic.in and this is the homework ma'am and we still have a lot of time in our session right we have almost seven minutes left for the session what else you want to share with our learners ma'am because we are talking about books and if we talk about some parents that might be possible they don't buy so many books at the time right in that case what they do i uh, talk about this very often mm -hmm. in my classes access to books is not uh, very easy hmm. but uh, with a lot of new publishers uh, publishing very cost effective books it is also not very difficult it is really a matter of awareness now. Hmm. So uh, there are also NGOs that encourage children uh, to you know come to them give hmm. their old books and get new books in return. Okay. So you know it is really about awareness than about uh, accessibility to books. Hmm. However, what I would suggest, you know, everybody may not have access to such NGOs around them. A simple thing that I think many parents can do is, uh, you know, they can have a group, you know, they can form a group. Let us say they can form a group of 10 uh, children who live in the vicinity of their own hmm. house. If one children buys a book each, you know, then there are 10 books for all 10 of those children and they can exchange them and read them. Hmm. So, and similarly, you know, when we were children, we used to have these things called book clubs. Mm. So, children can form these book clubs in their neighborhoods, right. Uh, another thing which I feel uh, that makes reading accessible, I would not say easy because smartphones offer a lot of distraction, right. but at least reading is possible, uh, you know, if one kind of, you know, tries to take away the distraction, then reading uh, material is available online. Uh, like I told you the uh, Pratham website, it offers thousands of books. Hmm. So uh, accessibility to books is not really a big problem these days, it is I think more of, an, um, of a matter of awareness. So I suppose uh, this should answer my question, your question. Right. So I am still, we still have a couple of uh, more minutes for this session. So could you please recapitulate the poem ma'am? Yes, I, I suppose we could, we should go back to it and just you know so we can you know yes look at this once again in the light of the words that we newly learnt you know 
So, it says come in, come in said the library door. What did the library door say? It said come in. So, the library door is inviting, inviting. children to hmm. come in. Now, in your school, there are many schools in the sun where there is no library. Library is not a book. We are in Delhi where the situation is very good. But there are many schools. You can see that in the middle of the day, there are many schools. You can see that 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 there are many schools. Internationally, where there are class 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 5. Class 1 to 5 to 5. खुद किताबें बना रहे हैं। They are writing their own stories, they are illustrating those books themselves, और वो उनको publish कर रहे हैं as big books। Okay। तो प्रथम is also doing that and some other publishing houses are also doing that. This is happening the world over, everywhere. तो you know we have seen books from Ukraine, we have seen books from England, we have seen books from many places. Okay। So why not children in our schools? You know, so teachers can engage children. In reading and then creating books, I think that's that's you know going one step further. Now it's a beautiful initiative. I suppose it's a it's an idea that will you know involve them in hmm. uh, the uh, you know understanding what a book means. Hmm. You know, a book is not merely the pages that they read. You know, hmm. they will also get to understand how it's created. Children in fourth class can do that. So our children who are watching this today are completely I suppose they are old enough to do that. Teachers can take that up. Then, you know, teachers should uh, expose learners to different kinds of books. I think this uh, poem more than uh, shows that, more than talks about it, you know, hmm. that there are tall books, fat books. So, there are different kinds of books, picture books and books which do not have pictures, you know, or like I just showed you, you know, pop up books, different hmm. kinds of books. So, teachers, I think, uh, have this uh, duty, you know, they should take up this initiative to. Uh, show this, open this world of books to children, so that they know that there are different kinds of books. I opened it wide and I saw books galore, books galore means books in a great number. And then he says, the child says that there are different kinds of books and finally he says, I opened one book up and sat down to look, the pictures told stories, what a wonderful book. Hmm. So, this is usually the experience of a child that you know right. when they pick up a book, when they ex, you know visit a library, uh, this is usually their experience you know uh, that they enjoy books, they just have to be introduced to the right books, that is the challenge and I think uh, that can be, uh, that is a challenge that we can overcome by uh, increasing a teacher hmm. awareness you know, right. what the right books are for the right age group. Hmm. So, visiting a library is always a wonderful experience yes. I must say and I would request all our viewers to have a visit to library with your elder ones or with your parents and teachers uh, whosoever and uh, it's time for me to wrap up this session ma'am because we are running very short of time right now. <laughs> so, Divya ma'am very uh, thank you so very much for thank being you. with us thank you. and for your wonderful expression on books and going to buy a books on these poems. Thank and you. before I wrap up this session, let me thank our sign language interpreter Aniket, you as well. Thank you so very much Aniket. And before I wrap up, let me share a very important piece of information with you all regarding NCERT's textbooks. NCERT textbooks for the year 2023-24 are available throughout the country and these textbooks may be purchased directly from NCERT sales counters located at New Delhi, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Kolkata and Guwahati. These sales counters may be functional on all the weekdays including all the gadgeted holidays, Saturdays and Sundays as well from 9.30 am to 6 pm. You may also place for the books online from our website that is ncertbooks.ncert.gov.in and these books will be delivered at your doorsteps with no delivery fees and if you want the pdf version of all those books you can also it can also be downloaded online for free from ncert diksha e Shala website and from our mobile app as well please visit our website that is ncert.nic.in to know more about the authorized vendors. With that note, me Renu Bhatt is taking your leave, but you stay tuned to eVidya channels. Namaskar.